Hi, in this video we will discuss about cracking the web or wireless equivalent privacy encryption. The web protocol has known to be flawed even since early 2000, but is still in use these days and the access points are still providing web capabilities. The fundamental weakness in web is its use of RC4 or Rivas Cipher 4 which is a stream cipher and a short IV or initialization vector value that is recycled every 224 frames. While this is a large number in itself, there is a 15% of 4 reusers every 5000 packets. To use this in our advantage, we generate a large amount of traffic so we can increase the likelihood of IVs that has been reused and to compared to ciphertext encrypted with the same IV and key. Let's see what all this means in practice. We'll start by enabling web encryption in our access point. For that we navigate to the wireless tab and from here we select wireless security. Right now the security mode is disabled, meaning that our access point uses no encryption. Let's enable the web by selecting it from the list of available security modes. This will allow us to enter a key that is going to be used in data encryption. We will use the default transmit key 1 in this case and for key 1 we will enter a value. You can enter a complex value here or a simple one as in my case. For simplicity I will use a previous entered value of ABCD123456. So this will be our encryption key. Let's save it and apply the settings and let's switch to the PuTTY window which is already connected to my Kali Linux machine. We'll start by putting our wireless adapter into monitor mode so we will be able to capture the wireless traffic. We can do that by using the airmon-ng start followed by our wireless interface WLAN0. We can see a confirmation that the monitor mode has been enabled on MON0 interface. Now let's use this interface to display a list of available wireless networks by using aerondump-ng MON0 command. The wireless network that we are interested in is called wireless lab and we can see that this is currently using web encryption. I will copy the MAC address of the access point as we will use it shortly. Next let's obtain more information about this specific wireless network. We can do that by using the aerodump-ng followed by the minus B option and the MAC address that we just copied earlier followed by the minus channel and as we can see our access point is using channel 6 and then we specify that we want to save the wireless packets into a pickup file. So we put minus minus write followed by the prefix of the file. We will use a file called web in this case. And we finish the command with the interface that we want to use, which in our case is mon0, the monitor interface. As we can see, there are no clients currently connected to the wireless network. Let me connect my phone as a legitimate client and see what happens. Ok, I have successfully connected my phone to the wireless network and we can see its MAC address in the clients list. Now let me open a new PuTTY connection to the Kali Linux machine as we will need it to run multiple commands simultaneously. So I will connect to the Kali Linux machine and let's first check if the aerodump command issued earlier is indeed saving the wireless packets into a file prefixed with web. For that we type the ls command which lists the files and folders located in the current directory. As we can see there are multiple files available having the web prefix. The file that we are interested in is called web-01.cap or capture file. Now that we have the necessary information about our wireless network along with its connected client, we can use it to generate traffic in our wireless network. We will capture ARP packets on the wireless network and inject them back to simulate ARP responses. ARP stands for Alice Resolution Protocol and is a communication protocol used for resolution of network layer addresses. 
For that, we will use the A replay minus NG tool, followed by the minus 4 option, which specifies an ARP reply, minus B option, which specifies our access point MAC address, and minus H options, which specifies a MAC address of a connected client. We need a client to be connected to the wireless network, so we will be able to send out the ARP packets. Without a connected client, our attack will fail. And uh, oops, I forgot to supply the interface that we are going to use, which is MON0. So I will run the previous command one more time and will supply MON0 at the end of it. After a few moments, we can see that AirReplay was able to sniff ARP packets and started replaying them into the network. At this point, Aerodump will start registering a lot of data packets. This is exactly what we wanted to achieve, to generate lots of wireless network packets. All these sniffed packets are being stored in the web file that we specified. Let's start the actual cracking part. In order to do that, we run another PuTTY application and connect to the Kali Linux machine while leaving the other two PuTTY sessions running in the background. We log in into the Kali Linux machine and in order to start the web cracking, we issue the aircrack-ng command followed by our packets capture file, the web file that has the cap extension. This is the actual application that will try to crack the web key. I recommend that you leave the other two utilities running in the background while Aircrack is trying to break the web key. We can see that so far we got about 18,000 initialization vectors. The higher the number of IVs, the higher are the chances that the web key will be cracked. So we just leave it running and after a few moments, we can see that the key has been successfully cracked. The key is ABCD123456, the same as the one that we used when we enabled web encryption in our access point. So, in order to crack the web key, we waited for a legitimate client of the network to connect to the access point. After this, we used the AreplayNG tool to replay ARP packets into the network. This caused the network to send ARP reply packets, thus greatly increasing the number of data packets sent over the air. We then used the aircrack ng tool to crack the web key by analyzing cryptographic weaknesses in these data packets. Note that we can also fake an authentication to the access point using the shield key authentication bypass technique that we learned earlier in this course. This can come in handy if the legitimate client leaves the network. This will ensure that we can spoof an authentication and association and continue to send our replied packets into the network. So, to conclude, web encryption is flawed by design and is 100% crackable. Do not use it in order to protect your network. Use other encryption types like WPA or WPA version 2. These two can also be cracked, but they are offering a higher level of security as we will see in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.